Hello and welcome to a guide on improving your mechanics. In this guide, I'll be going over mechanics that every player who wants to climb out of ELOs like gold and platinum should know, such as input buffering, animation cancelling, target lock, flash combos, and I'll also be giving tips and tricks for hitting skill shots as well as improving your reaction speed and ability to dodge enemy skill shots. Okay, so the first mechanic I'm going to be talking about today is input buffering. Now what input buffering is, is you're inputting moves before they can even come out. And this enables you to just do the move the frame that it's possible. And this is extremely important to know, especially if you're playing champions like Lee Sin or Zed who need to have these fast inputs to execute their combos optimally. In this example, I'll be show in this video I'll be showing you some combos with Leeson and Zed. However, I think I'll be making a separate videos going in depth on all of the different combos you can do with input buffering with these two champions. If you want to see your champion's combos with input buffering, leave it in the comment section below and I will try to get that out for you. The second mechanic I want to talk to you about today is animation cancelling. And animations are sometimes um, used before casting a certain skill or ability. And there's usually some time before the ability really comes out. Sometimes it can be a quarter of a second to all the way to a full second or one and a half seconds. So you can cancel this animation with flash to help your skill come out faster. Also, you can also can cancel some animations with other skills. And this can help you both use your abilities faster and also get rid of the time that you're wasting while the an animation is going. I just want to say that the support that I've been getting from you guys has been amazing. So I want to be doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that. The next thing I want to talk about is flash combos. Now almost every character has one of these. I think actually there's no character that does not have a flash combo. These are extremely important to learn and are vital for you to master your character. Now flashes are really important in the game. They are the skill that in pro play is required. There's no game in pro play where I see one of the teams not using flash. Flash is necessary. And one of the big reasons why it's used is it can animation cancel and also extend the range of skill shots. Many champions can use their ult and then flash immediately after using their ult to do an animation cancel and also surprise the enemy such as a Mumu ult or Oriana ult and you can also use flash to reposition in certain moments. For example, flash is useful for Darius when he wants to reposition his first skill. Darius wants to maximize his damage and also gain stacks and healing if he, when he hits the outer ring of his first skill. Using flash to quickly position and surprise the enemy can really help in hitting this area. Another trick you can do with a popular champion is flashing after ulting with Ezreal to dodge a skill shot and to cancel his animation. Flash can be used to reposition while using skills that cause you to be immobile. The default priority for your skills and basic attacks go to the enemies with lowest percent of HP. However, this could be a tank and you can be missing out a, on a kill on a carry and just kill a tank instead and use your skills on them. This is why you want to be using target lock with both ADCs and assassins. Especially when many enemies are around, it's hard for you to hit all your skills and your basic attacks onto the enemy that you want to. For example, if you're playing an assassin like Zed and you want to focus down one enemy so your death mark deals maximum damage, but instead your skills go to someone else, then this can be really bad because then you're not getting maximum damage and you can miss out on a kill. 
However, if you use target lock, it ensures that all of your skills go to the enemy that you want to focus down. Now, especially when you are playing a marksman or an assassin, this is important to use target lock so that you can be hitting the right targets at the right time. Next, I want to be giving you some tips in hitting skill shots. Now in elos like silver, gold, and platinum, people finally start sidestepping and dodging skill shots. So how can you still hit a consistent amount of skill shots if your opponents know what's coming? What you need to do to hit skill shots is waiting for your enemy to go for a minion for last hit and then while they're immobilized because they're during their auto attack animation, then you want to throw out your skill shot to hit them while they can't dodge it. This is important for every champion who has a ranged skill shot and is a concept that's used by all the pros and all the best players. Another tip in hitting skill shots, especially with slow ones, is throwing them from fog of war around corners or while retreating. All three of these situations are times where you can surprise your enemy with skill shots and it, and if they don't react really quickly, then they're gonna get hit. Now for your reaction speed and dodging, what I think is important is knowing when an enemy has an ability that you need to be careful of. So if Malphite has ult, then you know that you're gonna have to hit that Zhonya glass, the Zhonya's hourglass, and as soon as you see the start of the animation, you can immediately, immediately immune it or flash away or get away so rather than having great reaction speed I, I i know people with great reaction speed and they can't dodge any skill shots whereas people with less reaction speed can still dodge skill shots because they know that they're coming if you know your enemy has an important cooldown then you should be looking at that enemy and waiting and seeing when are they going to use that skill shot and as soon as it comes out then you can sidestep it or dodge it however you'd like this is especially important with characters that have immunes like fiora or fizz or zed where you can see the skill come out and then immediately dodge it so an important concept for dodging is knowing what enemy cooldowns there are knowing the enemy skills and how to dodge them if you want basic guides for different champions, I have tons of champion guides on my channel and if your main or champion that you want to learn is not covered, I you just leave a comment down below and I will go and make that guide for you. Most of my guides are made from viewer requests and they're champions that you guys want to see made a guide of and so if you guys comment down which champion you want to see a guide of, I will be making one for you and putting it out for you. So that's a basic rundown of all the mechanics that I know are necessary to climb out of lower elos. So I know there's tons of different mechanics out there and some of them are not covered in this video. In this video, they're just the ones that every player should know and learn. I will also be putting out a guide specifically on input buffering for Lee Sin and Zed as those are the two champions that use it the most. However, if your main uses input buffering, then you can leave it down in the comments and I will try to get the combos for you. Also, this channel will be doing, again, a giveaway at 100 subscribers, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that. If you made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thanks so much for all the support. I appreciate it so much. And just if you are looking to improve at Wild Rift, you can check out my other videos on this channel. I have videos on a lot of different champion guides and also I have some general guides like wave management and just the fundamentals of playing Wild Rift. And one more thing is that some of the gameplay used in this video comes from Kenjutsu's channel. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Lastly, Happy New Year. I hope your season goes well. And thanks for watching the video. I will see you soon. Bye.